not working. Hello, good evening, everyone. Hi, Isabel, welcome. Hi, teacher. How are you tonight? Great, thanks. Nice, nice. Hello, good evening. I'm glad that you are already here. Thank you for your punctuality. Hi, Alma. Hello. Okay, yeah, I know everybody's here. Welcome. Yeah, I was just giving some time for everybody to join. <laughs> Sorry, but I see that here we've got some of you. Okay, there are some of you already. Okay, vamos a hacer un juego, okay? We are going to start playing. We are going to say, I spy with my eye. Okay, aquí lo voy a escribir. I spy with my eye. Y vamos a decir el color de lo que estamos viendo, okay? So. I spy with my eye. Something something y decimos el color, ok. Ok, voy a empezar yo. I will start, ok. I spy, pero de las cosas que vemos aquí, ¿verdad? En el classroom, ok, aquí. I spy with my eyes something green. Alma's house. Okay, Alma's house. Yay, something green. Yes, the wall. Okay, yes, there you are. Okay, como usted contestó, Carlos, you answered, so you continue. Uh, we cannot hear you. You are muted. My spy with my eyes, something color blue. Something blue, guys. Yeah, something blue. Uh, 
The teachers, uh, Carlos. <laughs> Carlos T-shirt. Okay, yay, yay. Okay, Alma, it's your turn. It's your turn. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, bajaría eso. I spy my day something is uh, gray. Something gray. I spy with my eyes something gray. That's what she what she said. Jacqueline, estamos jugando veo veo, pero en English, okay? Estamos jugando. I spy with my eye something y decimos el color de lo que estamos viendo. Y usted tiene que adivinar, okay? You have to guess. Entonces, ahorita Alma preguntó, I spy, uh, with my eye, with my eye, uh -huh, something great. That's what she said. Repítalo, Alma. Repeat, please. I spy with my eye something great. So, pero solo dentro de aquí del classroom, ¿ok? Dice, no sé si es red o gray. Gray, G-R-A-Y. <laughs> something gray, guys. Isabel, do you see anything gray? A ver, Jacqueline. A ver, Carlos, do you see anything gray? Gris. Gris. Isabel's house. What's Isabel's house? Okay, yes. Two points, Carlos. Yes. Okay. Le vamos a dar la oportunidad porque ya es two points. Okay, hágale, hágale. Continue. I spy with my eyes something real. <laughs> Ajá, guess, guess, guess. Adivinen, adivinen, guess, guess. Your lips. <laughs> Are my lips or my lens? My, my glasses. My lips, okay. Mm, okay, there, there they are. Okay, I'm again, again. It's your turn. I no sé, ya no veo nada más. <gasps> There I are a lot of colors. <laughs> I spy with my eyes something black. Okay. Vaya, eh, Isabel. Alma. Eh, la camisa de Alma, perdón, no sé. Alma's shirt. Alma's Alma shirt. 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 Okay. Is that okay, Alma? Yeah. Ok, great. A ver, Isabel, háganos la pregunta. Ok. I spy with my eyes somebody uh, red. Gabriela, estamos jugando ahorita I spy with my eyes. Se lo voy a poner porque acaba de entrar para que lo vuelva a ver, ¿sí? Así. Es como el veo veo en español, pero en inglés. I spy with my eyes something y decimos el color, pero solo de lo que estamos viendo acá, ¿ok? Ok. Ok, Isabel. Say it again. Repeat. Yes, please. Ok. I spy with my eyes something. Red. Something red. Something red. Isabel? Uh, sus. 
Ah, oh, my glasses. My glasses, Deborah. I'm sorry. There were not the flowers. Okay. Yes, labios. Oh, my lips. Okay, my mm. lips. There you are. Mm -hmm. Lips, glasses. Lips, glasses. Ok, vamos a ver entonces, no, como nadie contestó, ¿a quién le damos la, la oportunidad? Vale, por orden de llegada sería Jacqueline. Jacqueline, it's your turn. Okay, I speak with my eyes something blue. Ajá. Everybody, everybody. Something blue, something blue. I am. <laughs> Is Isabel's shirt? La pantalla de tu... My background, <laughs> my background, okay. Uh -huh. Very good, background, background, uh-huh. Background, so, well, a ver, Gabriela, now it's your turn. Mm. I spy with my A. I? I sometimes, sometimes um, green. Okay, I spy with my eye. A ver, dígalo conmigo, Gabriela. I spy I with my spy eye. With my eye, something green, something green. Yes, uh huh. Everybody thinking, it's my house. Is it her house? <laughs> yeah. Yes, okay, okay. Now, continue, Alma. Mm, no hay muchos colores. Yes, there are a lot of colors. Uh, is, I spy with my eyes something pink. Something pink. Hey, hey. Is it correct? Okay. The, the flowers in the carton. Okay. Yay, Deborah. Point for Deborah. Okay, Deborah, it's your turn. Something black. Don't be afraid. Díganlo, aunque no lo sepan. Ustedes díganlo. A ver. Alma, este, teacher. Débora. Alma's t-shirt. Ah, she's talking about the headphones. Headphones? Yeah, I think she said headphones, right? ¿Qué oyeron ustedes? No se le entendió mucho, ¿verdad? Pero yo sí sentí más los headphones y si no me equivoco eran los de Isabel. O sea, ¿verdad que serían los black? A ver. Ah, ok, our headphones, Isabel. Ok, there, you, there we are. Vamos a ver entonces. A ver, entre todos. Isabel, now your turn. Sorry, teacher. Otra vez, again. Otra, ah, ok. I am, I am spam with my again something. Um, um, permitan. Okay, no me he traído. Um, blue, 
Something blue, okay, something blue, everybody. <laughs> so there are a lot of things with blue, but maybe you, you don't say it because of the name or the word in English. Pero no importa, ustedes díganlo. Aunque no estén seguros que así se dice, díganlo. Ok, con confianza, vamos. Jacqueline's house. Jacqueline's house? No. No, ok, eh. it's not. Wait, 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 wait. The you're guessing. Uh, Ajá, okay. que adivinen, que adivinen. Vamos, vamos. Eh. Okay. His, his, his shirt, ¿cómo se dice? Camisa. Hair Camisa. shirt. Ajá. Uh -huh. Hair shirt. Shirt. Isabel. De Isabel. Uh, ¿Qué es eso? Sí, también, pero la teacher. Ah, teachers. Ok, teachers, uh, t-shirt. Hey, teachers. T-shirt. Hey, that's difficult. A ver, hoy los reto a ustedes. Díganlo tres veces. Teacher, t-shirt, teacher, t-shirt, teacher, t-shirt. Eh, salió un trabalengua sin querer, ¿verdad? Ok, ajá. The teachers. Lo voy a escribir para que vean que así se dice. Algo que le pertenece al teacher. Miren, teachers, t-shirt. A ver, díganlo tres veces. A ver si es cierto. Teachers, t-shirt. A ver, los reto, los reto. A ver. Three, three times in a row. Three times. Teachers, teacher. Teachers, teacher. Ajá. Eso está como que dijéramos así, miren. Camarón. En Spanish, right? Caramelo. Camarón, caramelo. Pero así varias veces seguidas. Vamos. Fast. Camarón, caramelo. Ajá. Inténtenle, bye. No, hombre, que ustedes se me quedan calladitos. No, a ver, ánimo, ánimo. Camarón, caramelo, camarón, caramelo. A ver. Caramón, ya. Yeah. Yes, estos son buenos ejercicios para poder aprender a pronunciar. Miren, esto es muy buen ejercicio. Ok, salió uno sin querer, el teacher's t-shirt. Va, y el otro lo pueden seguir practicando, el camarón caramelo. Ok, lo intentó Isabel, le salió. Camarón caramelo, le salió. Camarón, caramelo, camarón, caramelo, camarón, caramelo, sí. Hey, very good. Clap, clap for Isabel. Yes. ¿Y a Jacqueline le salió? Camarón, caramelo, camarón, caramelo, camarón, caramelo. Ah, pero sin leerlo, sin leerlo. Ahí, rápido, rápido. Camarón, caramelo, camarón, caramelo, camarón, caramelo. <risa> ok, ¿y a Carlos le salió? Camarón, camarón. <ríe> Camarelo, ¿verdad? ¿eh? Ajá, sí, no. pues. Ajá. A ver, Gabriela, ¿ya a usted le salió? No, a ver. <ríe> intente, intente. I we want to see. Ajá. Camarón, caramelo, camarón, cam caramelo, camarón, caramelo. Ah, muy no, bien, no. pero lo iba pensando. Sí. Ok, muy bien. Very good. Ok, then, guys, we are going to start the class today because, because the class today is about... Um, the quantifiers, quantifiers. Yesterday we talked about the, um, let's say prepositions of place, remember? Prepositions of place. And we learned about the places in a city. Do you remember the places in a city? Who remembers the places in a city? Three places. Fast, fast, quickly, quickly. Avant supermarket, 
Movie, bueno, bueno, movie theater. Ok, very good, Saúl. Yes. Bueno, retemos a Saúl, vaya, retemos a Saúl con, con los trabalenguas que nos salieron ahora de pura casualidad, salió un trabalengua. No sé si puede ver el, en el, en el, permítame. Shot, the shot. Ajá, pero acá, a ver. Mm. Ese último que acabo de poner. Dígalo tres t veces así rapidito. Ajá. T-shirt, 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 t-shirt. Ah, pero le cambió el acento. No, no, no. Vea que no se vale. Díganle, no se vale, Saúl. <risa> <risa> ok, sí, fue un poco difícil, ¿verdad? Antes de escribirlo. Ok, y el otro era, lo vamos a retar. Este es en español. This is in Spanish. Pero rápido, así, cinco veces, rápido. Cam camarón, caramelo, camarón, caramelo, camarón, caramelo, camarón, caramelo, camarón, caramelo. Oh, oh, oh gran sensei. Wow. Claps. Claps. Everybody clap for Saúl. Yes. Ok, oh. people. Vamos a seguir entonces, ya que Saúl, mire, venció el reto. Huh, qué bueno, lo superó. Bien, entonces vamos a decir que we are going to say that the places in the city, some of them are countable nouns and some of them are not countable. That is why when we want to quantify how many things of those exist in a city, we need some quantifiers. Or maybe we can just use the, pl the plural, okay, the plural. And let's see this. This is our feedback. What is there in the city? What do you see in this picture? Building. Mm -hmm. Buildings, street, bus stop. Buildings, street, bus stop. Okay. How many buildings do you see? Okay. I see eight buildings, right? Mm -hmm. Eight buildings. Mm -hmm. Okay. How many streets do you see in this picture? One. Yes, I see a street. I see a street. Okay. How many bus stops do you see in this picture? I see a bus stop. I see a bus stop, only one, right? So when we make a sentence and we express how many objects of something you are seeing or they exist, then we use a for singular or an. We use some for plurals, okay? Or we use a number, or we use the number. For example, eight buildings, right? Eight buildings. One street or a street. One bus stop or a bus stop. Okay, continue. What do you see here? Yes, I see one bridge, okay? One bridge or a bridge, okay? 
a bridge or one bridge. How many rivers do you see? Exactly. I see one river or a river. That's good. Mm -hmm. Do you see anything else? Miran algo más de lo que sepan el vocabulario. A ver. Cars, teacher. Cars. Mm -hmm. Cars. What do you see over there at the, the top? Okay, yes. Uh -huh. The city. What is this? The sky. The sky is the limit, right? <laughs> the sky. Sure. Tell me. I, I remember that, for example, that if you're on a sky, the tree sky is correctly. The sky, por ejemplo, el de las casas. How do you say cielo falso? Decimos en español. ¿verdad? The ceiling. Uh -huh. ceiling. The ceiling. Okay. Exactly. The ceiling. Mm -hmm. the ceiling. This is cielo, the sky. El rey, y el reino de los cielos, ¿cómo se dice? The heaven. Heaven. The heaven. Exactly. Heaven. This heaven. is the sky, the visible, the physical. That's the sky. Mm -hmm. The spiritual or... The one on the, in the Bible is the heaven, right? Where, uh, I mean, uh, let's say God's kingdom, right? So that's the heaven. And the ceiling, el cielo, que nosotros tenemos en casas, ceiling, okay? All right, yes, that's correct. Ah, aquí recordemos las dos... Um, Preposiciones que conocimos cuando vimos la picture, pero no lo pusimos en la lista de preposiciones. Aquí sería, the bridge across the river. Miren, the bridge goes across the river. Pero los carros across the bridge sería the car. The cars go along the bridge, ¿ok? A lo largo del puente. Y el otro es across, cruzando el río, ¿sí? Across the river and the cars are, I mean, go along the bridge. Remember, along and across. Mm -hmm. sure. Next, tell me. Across is right, A-C-R-O-S-S. Yes, A C R O A O S S. Across. Mm -hmm. okay. Across. Okay. What do you see in this picture? Monument. Exactly. How many monuments do you see in this picture? A monument. A monument or one monument. Both are correct. Okay. A monument or one monument. We can call a monument as a statue. Exacto. Yes. A statue. Como que estornudan. A statue. Así. The same. Statue. statue. Mm -hmm. One statue or a statue. Okay. What else do you see in the picture? Clouds, aha, uh -huh. yes, and I think this is the volcano, right? This is the volcano, San Salvador's volcano, it seems like. All right, continue. What do you see in this picture? Cathedral. Yes, I see a cathedral. And also it's a church, right? It is a church. Yeah, cathedral. Sacamos la lengua y no tengan miedo aunque escupan, ¿verdad? Cathedral. Cathedral. Quiero ver sus bocas haciéndole. Cathedral. cathedral. Yes. Cathedral. A ver, saquen así la lengua. Cathedral. Cathedral. Yes. Mm -hmm. Cathedral. 
cathedral. And a cathedral obviously is a church. A church. Church. Yes, it's a Catholic church, a Catholic church. But it's a cathedral. Yeah, cathedral. What else do you see? What is this? This place, what's it called? People. Okay, you see people. Great. Uh huh. A park. But, yes, a park. One park or a park. Okay. How many parks are there in the downtown? How many parks are at downtown? In the centro. A downtown. How many are there? ¿Cuántos hay ahí en el centro? No, here in El Salvador, in San Salvador. Okay. I will change. I will change the question, and that's a very good point. Thank you very much, Alma. How many parks are in your city? Five. My city is a park. Okay. Mm. One park. Entonces decimos there is one park. Okay. Y si hay más de uno, usamos there are y decimos el plural, ¿verdad? ¿Cuántos exactamente? There are five parks in my city. Okay. Five parks parks. Agregamos la S, ¿verdad? O el plural que corresponda, porque puede ser un plural eh, diferente, ¿verdad? Eh, irregular, irregular. What do you see in this picture? The bus. The bus. Okay. The bus. Transportation, right? Public transportation. You see two microbuses, right? There is a taxi right behind the microbus. Yeah, behind. What is there behind the microbus? There is a taxi. Okay. Aha. Uh -huh. What is this? It's another microbus, and it, it is right behind in the line, right? It's behind in the line. How many streets do you see? Is one street? One street or a street? Yeah, there is only one street. Okay. And what else do you see? We said something about this place. The tomato. <laughs> uh huh. Tomatoes. Vegetable. vegetable market. Yes, vegetable market. That's correct. Market. In a market, we can find any consuming products any consuming products you can find maybe uh, the cereals what else can you find in a market what else can you find in a market can you find milk can you get cheese in the market can you uh can you get meat in a market Yes, cheese, queso, milk, leche. leche, meat, carne, okay? Can you find meat in the market? Yes, yes. yes, yes. we can, right? Yes, yes. we can, oh, yes, can. uh-huh, <laughs> that's correct. So, at the downtown, there is a market, right? At downtown, there is a market. It, on the street, right? On the street, because it's right in the walk side, right? In a, in, a, in the sidewalk, I'm sorry, in the sidewalk. Sidewalk es la acera, sidewalk. Se lo vamos a agregar aquí para después. Okay. Teacher. Tell me. I have a question. Tell me. How, how, do, how do you say, or, or what is the correct, for example, in the picture? Um, anterior, uh, I can see post posters or commercial posters. This one's this signs. signs. These are yes signs, announcements, advertisement. Yeah, that is what they are. Signs. Okay, mm -hmm. sure. 
Sí. Signs. Uh -huh. They're called also billboards, right? But the billboards, now we imagine something that has movement and it, it is like a screen, but they are called like that too. Uh -huh. But these are signs, commercial signs, announcement, advertisement. Yeah. Es como publicidad también. ¿Cómo? Como publicidad también. Exactly. Eso es advertisement. Advertisement. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's correct. Okay. What do you see in this picture? A shopping mall. Yes, a shopping mall. Can you describe the picture? What objects do you see? What objects do you see? I can see. How many floors are there? One. Second and the third, right? The first, the second, and the third. Three floors. Exactly, Alma. Yes, three floors. Are there windows in this shopping mall? Do you see windows there? Windows? Are there any windows in this shopping mall? Yes, there are windows. Okay. What is this called? What is this called? ¿Cómo se llama esto que está acá? Que sirve para uh, go down or go up? La escalera. Mm -hmm. Yes. Stairs. Stairs, yes. Stairs. Ajá. Y como está así como encerradito, sería the staircase. Okay, the staircase, porque está como encerradito, ¿sí? Staircase. También se llaman steps. También las gradas se llaman steps. So, ¿y si fueran eléctricas? ¿Cómo les dijéramos? Electrical stairs, okay? Or electrical steps. It's okay. The same. So, a ver, vamos a aprender una cosa ahorita y pónganle mente. Yendo para arriba, cuando alguien le pregunta, where is, digamos, uno de estos centros, de, de los comerciales que está aquí arriba. Digamos que, where is Siman, ok? Where is the Siman entrance? Y está arriba, entonces vamos a decir, it is upstairs, ok? It is upstairs. Subiendo las gradas. Exactamente. Upstairs. Aunque esté en el segundo piso, ¿verdad? Aunque no estemos cerca de las gradas. It's upstairs. Es un lugar, ¿verdad? It's upstairs. Y si está abajo, ¿cómo creen que se dice? It's downstairs. Yes, it's downstairs. It's downstairs. Si está subiendo las gradas, it's upstairs. Si está bajando it's las gradas, downstairs. it's downstairs. ¿Ok? Imagínense que usted pregunta por el baño. Where's the bathroom? It's upstairs. You have to run. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and if you if the bathroom is in the first floor and you are in the second floor, then you ask, where is the bathroom? It's downstairs. Okay. If it is in the first floor, it's downstairs. Downstair. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, here we go with the next picture, one. I can Tell see me. The, the picture, the, flaunt, the fountain, flaunt, fountain. What this one? Fountain. 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 Mm -hmm. fountain. Okay, yes, there is a see. fountain right in front of the entrance of this building, right? This is like a very old house and it's preserved. Yeah, it's preserved. It's an old house. Yeah. Uh -huh. It's That's right cool. in front of the entrance. Look in front of the entrance okay what do you see in this picture supermarket yes it's a supermarket exactly it's a supermarket what do you see what objects do you see what are these called what are these called i remember Vaya, la cacerola se llama pan 
P A N, pan, ajá. Como el la casera la se llama, exacto. Por eso se llaman pancakes, porque son pa eh, pasteles de cacerola. Ok, usted echa la mezcla, echa pancake. Usted usa okay. una freidora para hacer el pancito ahí rico. Sí, that's why, because this is a pan. This one. La, ¿Cómo? Fried pan también. Exactly. Mm -hmm. The fried pan, fryer pan. Mm -hmm. Y uh, veamos estas, ¿qué serían? What do you see? Como ollas, pero no sé. Exactly. Saucepan. Sauce, Sos. como de salsa. Saucepan. Mm -hmm. Saucepan. Exactly. There are other products right here. Maybe some appliances for the kitchen. And I see maybe these are like blenders or something. Yeah, licuadoras or something. Maybe these are coffee makers. Well, there are a lot of products Toaster. there. Toasters. Yes, toasters. Mm -hmm. So it's not only a supermarket. It's almost, almost uh, a retail store, right? A retail store. Remember? Retail store. Almacén, right? Retail store. Okay, let's go and see this. What is this? What is this place? Exactly. What do you see in a restaurant? What is there in a restaurant? What can you see? Uh -huh. desk, desk, chairs, chairs, desk. Mm -hmm. That's the front desk, right? The front desk or the cashier desk. Okay. okay. Yeah. Cashier desk. Uh -huh. Seats. Seats. Great. Mm -hmm. Seats. Table. Tables. Mm -hmm. Look at this. Lamp. Lamps. Lamps. Yes, lamps. Mm -hmm. What is this called? Fan. Ventiladores, right? Fan. Fan. One fan, two fans. Okay, one and two fans. Okay, you see some red decoration. Wine, I'm sorry? I can see red wine. Oh, do you? Yes, a <laughs> bottle of red wine. Good eye. Yeah, that's a good uh, eagle eye. <laughs> okay, the salt and the pepper, right? Salt and pepper. What else do you see? The tablecloth. El mantel de la mesa se llama tablecloth. C-L-O-T-H. Cloth. Uh -huh. Tablecloth. Okay, ahorita solo las estamos diciendo, pero eh, vamos tomando nota, okay? What place is this? <laughs> Yesterday I said, that's my favorite place. Yes, that's my favorite place. Actually, it's one of my favorite places. Uh -huh. Exactly, that is that is describing what a pupuseria is, right? Pupuseria. Uh -huh. What is a pupuseria? What do you say in English, teacher? You say pupuseria because there is no other <laughs> word. Yeah, but someone is going to ask you, for example, what is a pupuseria? Yeah, then you are going to say it's a selling shop of, of stuff, tortillas. Okay, yeah. So okay. we can also call these kind of restaurants uh, local food restaurants. Restaurant. Local food restaurant because there are places where they sell tamales, right? They can sell sopa de gallina, eh, I don't know, eh, sopa de patas, yeah. That's local food restaurant. Local Should food I, restaurant. Tell me. I, I can I can say uh, what is the different in typical restaurant? You say it. Or look at food restaurant. Is similar or different? Yeah, no, it? it's okay. It's the same. Typical food, it's good. Mm -hmm. It's okay. good too. But I think it's. Mm, uh, well, I, I like this one better than typical. Yeah, I like okay. this one. Local food restaurant because it includes everything, not only the typical. Yeah, not, not only the empanadas, eh, natoles, right? No, not only that. It has everything that we can produce in El Salvador, right? That's local okay. food restaurant. Yeah. 
No, que fue sí, uh -huh. No pasó la Oh, my goodness. Es que me emocioné de llegar a la pupusería. I'm sorry. Thank you very much, Isabel. We're going to take the attendance after the flashcards, okay? Vaya, entonces, pupusería es a pupusería. What is a pupusería? Again, Alma. Selling soap of soft tortillas. Yes, it's a selling shop of stuff tortillas because they have stuffing right they have a stuffing in the tortilla mm -hmm. okay and then but i'm going to find the image i'm hungry <laughs> <laughs> yeah i'm hungry too okay what place is this do you know this place a school school yes it's a school it's a school what color are the schools in el salvador Right and blue. Okay. White and blue. Okay. How many schools are in your city? There are four schools. Four schools. Okay. You have public and you have private schools. Okay. Mm -hmm. Public and private schools. Public. Okay. Oh, I love these places a lot. Bacon. I really enjoy these places. Yay. Don't you like these places? Uh -huh. Bakery. Yes, bakery. bakery. This letter E is silent. So we say bakery. Bakery. Hmm? Bakery. Bakery. Yes. And uh -huh. tell me. Es que no existe una palabra en inglés. No, no existe una palabra que defina eso en inglés. No existe. Solamente la inscripción, como la había dicho, de tortilla o reversa de. Exacto. Usualmente cuando no hay un término en el idioma que, que nos preguntan, ¿verdad? Pues tenemos que usar la descripción, ¿verdad? We have to use the description. That is why I told you, cuando alguien les pregunta, mira, ¿y qué es una pupusería? O, ah, es un lugar donde venden tortillas rellenas, ¿verdad? So we describe that. Ajá, por eso es, Débora. Ok. Thank you, okay, it's funny, but that's true. Okay, here we go. What place is this? Stadium. Stadium, mm -hmm. yes, the stadium. Yes, stadium, stadium. Okay, then we started the uh, in on at preposition. So we did our, our feedback now. I will call the role. Cuando yo llame la asistencia, cuando yo pase la asistencia y diga su nombre, por favor, usted me dice un public place, ¿ok? Tal vez su lugar favorito, ¿verdad? What's, it, what's your uh, favorite public place? Mm -hmm. A place in sure. the city. Tell me. I, I'm the example for this picture of the stadium. For example, in the, the stadium is a front of in my house. Oh, yeah, you told us that last night. Yeah, you're right. Well, that night. Mm -hmm. Right in front. What's that stadium called? Michael Gonzalez. Oh, so you are in San Salvador. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Are you ready, people? Please remember the requirement from Insoforb is that you have to turn your camera on. And when I call your name, you have to say present. And also, you will tell me what's your favorite place in the city. Okay, here we go. Okay, teacher, come in. <laughs> yes, ready? It's awesome. Yeah, yeah, teacher, ready, ready. Okay, Alma Yamilet Hernandez de Vasquez. Present teacher, my play favorite in my city is the park. 
Ok, ok. Armemos la oración como lo pueden contestar. A ver, la oración va a ser así, miren. My favorite place in the city is, y dice en el lugar, ok. Así. My favorite place in the city is, y ponen ahí. All right, are you ready now? Let's do it again, Alma. My favorite place in the city is the park. The park. Okay. Carlos Edgardo Vázquez Espino. My favorite place in the city is in the park. I'm sorry. What place is it? The park. My favorite place in the city is in the park. It's the park. Okay. Good. Carlos Francisco Alfaro de León. Present teacher, my favorite place in the city is shopping mall. The shopping mall, all right. Mm -hmm. Deborah y Amelia Campos Cortez. Sorry, teacher, se me había trabado el teléfono. My favorite place is in the city is. I can get what place it is. Tell, uh, tell me the place again. Alguien lo, lo agarró? I don't understand. Neither do I. A ver, Débora. Repítalo despacio. Ah, ok. Es que vengo ajolotada porque recién llegan. Perdón. Vaya, okay. entonces le voy a decir algo, pero no se vayan a reír, pero sí se ríen, oigan. Don't sofoc en ajolot. <ríe> ok. Ese, no se dice así, que como que es solo un chiste. A ver. <ríe> Ajá. My story play in the city is. Kentucky. Oh. Kentucky. Kentucky. Kentucky Fried Chicken. Uh -huh. Oh, great. Yes. Yeah, it's a very good place to me, too. <laughs> For me, it's a very good place. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, it's not my favorite, but I like it, too. I understand. Uh -huh. All right. I have a question. Tell me. That Deborah. Uh -huh. And say the... For example, the restaurant specific, where is the the site correctly? The restaurant in the name or name and restaurant? What is what is? Oh no, the order. The order in the sentence will be uh, my favorite place is Kentucky Fried Chicken Restaurant. Restaurant okay. at the end, after the name of the restaurant. For example, I would say my favorite um, uh, place in the city is Pizza Hut Restaurant or I don't know, La Pampa restaurant. Yeah? Okay, Lisha. Thanks. Okay, good. Sería Kentucky restaurant. Yes. Uh huh. Uh huh. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, Fernando Enrique Martinez Masin. Oh, he's just a listener tonight. Um, let's see, Fernando Noel Mauricio Cintigo. Uh, my favorite place in the city is the cinema. No sé cómo se dice cine en inglés. Cinema. Oh, yeah, we cinema. have two. We have two, um, two words. Okay. We have movie, theater, o tenemos cinema. Okay. Ahí usted decide which one. Cinema. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ok. Cinema. Ok. Gabriela Lisset Hernández Cruz. Present teacher. My favorite place in the city is shopping mall. The shopping mall. Which one? Which shopping mall is your, your favorite? Gabriela? Which 
Shopping mall is your favorite. Um, no tengo uno en específico. No te you like explain. all of them. Okay, all of them. All right. Good. Ajá, depende, ¿verdad? Porque en unos lugares hay unas cosas, en otros hay otras. Yeah, you're right. I understand. We are women. Jacqueline Iset Martínez de Vázquez. Present teacher, um, my favorite place in the city is. Espera, uh, <laughs> que lo había notado y se me olvidó cómo se decía. Es. Ice cream shop. Oh my goodness, yes! It's a very good place. Yay! Which one? Sarita, Neveria, Pops, or Boston? Which one? Yeah, no. Neveria. Neveria. Oh, okay. Good, good. Jose Antonio Campos Rivas. Uh, is he connected as a listener? Can you see him? Not yet. Oh, okay. Marcos Alejandro Coreas Reales. I know he's a listener tonight. Maria Isabel Rivas Guevara. My favorite play is the city is a sport high. The sports I O High. Sport H I L L. Sport Hill, Sport Hill. Yes. Ajá, uh -huh. es como una montaña de deportes. ¿Qué es eso? What is that? Uh, polideportivo. Sport Hill, Sport Hill. Soccer fields, the show? Uh, no, no, no. She's saying, uh, okay, just let me know something. ¿Ese polideportivo tiene un nombre así en inglés? No, solo Pero lo llama sí polideportivo. Ajá. Bueno, ayer dijimos eh, las canchas, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Pero, ok, polideportivo tendría que ser como eh, the sport court o algo así, sí. Sport courts, I think. Ok. Sure, but but uh, in English is specific, for example, the, the different name. Yes, for Already. each one. Uh -huh. For each sport, yeah, for each sport. But there, there is a name for that, for different sports in the same place, right? Uh-huh. Let, let me check. Ayer había un lugar donde se llamaba, se llamaba Sport Palace, algo así. Exactly, mm -hmm. but that was just like a gym, right? Mm -hmm. No, like in this. Si sí, tiene que haber alguna palabra que reúna eso, o por lo menos el, conta, el, um, el concepto, ¿verdad? It's sports club. Uh -huh, sports club. Podría ser. Yeah, the polideportivo, it's better if you say club. Uh -huh, the club, even though you don't pay, you are, or sometimes you pay, right, for the court or the field you use. Ok, 
que era say, polideportivo, but club sports, palas. ¿Cuál fue el otro que dijimos ayer? Ayer dijimos un nombre, I forgot. ¿Cuál fue el otro? ¿Quién tomó nota del otro? The sports, the courts. ¿Qué más? Do you remember? No? Well, it was like a gym, right? Like a gym. Eh, y me dijo sports heel, right? Sports heel. Ok, lo voy a confirmar ese sports heel. Ok, eso a veces sucede cuando usamos traductor. Nos da una palabra genérica, pero no es lo que normalmente o comúnmente eh, se usa. ¿Saben qué? Voy a necesitar que por favor estén chequeando que aparece ahí en su pantalla que se está grabando porque ahora Zoom me está dando un problema y <coughs> aparentemente no está grabando, o sea, eh, aparentemente no graba. Entonces a mí me aparece solo recording, pero a ustedes les tiene que aparecer ahí recording y hay un tiempo ahí. Miran el tiempo que vamos de grabación. Don't no. Say that time, teacher, but I, I say can the recording. You can't. Ok, it says recording. Va. Ok, sí, tiene que permanecer diciendo así porque si no nos va a tocar reponer la clase. So please, everybody, keep an eye on it. All right. Thank you. Ok, let's continue with the list. Ah, no, ya la terminamos, ¿verdad? La lista. No, we are oh, on the list. Sure. Estamos con Isabel todavía. Yeah. All right. Don't worry. I know where we are. Don't worry. Mirna Beatriz Aviles Iraeta. Uh, she's not connected today again. Oh, oh. Okay, Saul Alvarez Pacheco. Present teacher. My favorite place in the city is the gym. Oh, okay. At 3 a.m., right? Stephanie Magali Amaya Reyes. City <laughs> teacher. Stephanie Magali Amaya Reyes. Present teacher. Okay. My, my favorite place. In the city is a bakery. Bam Bam. Oh, yes. Bam Bam Bakery. Yeah, Bam Bam Bakery. Okay. Uh -huh. Primero decimos el nombre, okay. después el, el genérico okay. del lugar. Okay. Yay. Yeah. With well, the chocolate and my cheese friend. Cheese. Oh, my friend. Someday mm -hmm. we will go together. Stephanie Magali Amaya Reyes uh, me dijo Bam Bam. Okay, here we go. Verónica Beatriz Elsa de Saldaña. Present teacher. Okay. My yeah. favorite place in the city is uh, the seafood restaurant. The seafood. Oh, okay. Great. En el puerto, right? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Every Sunday. Uh, all right. All right. Okay, people, let's continue because we were talking about the prepositions of time. But today we want to learn how to use uh, the structure to say what things are in a place. And we want to use the quantifiers. It means we want to say things in singular and things in plural. So the number of the things that exist in a place, right? There is for singular and there are for plurals. But also, we want to use the quantifiers. Quantifiers are words that expresses amounts, cantidades, right? Amounts. They can be exact amounts or approximate amounts, okay? Maybe we don't have an exact number of things, but we know that the amount is big or large, right? And maybe we don't know the exact amount of something, but we know that it's a low amount, a very small amount of things or objects uh, that we are talking about or that exist in a place. Wow. Okay, then what is the objective of studying this structure? What is the objective? The objective is that one, to learn how to identify and also use these words called quantifiers, okay? 
These words are called quantifiers. Quantifiers. All right? Quantifiers. Tell me. I don't, I don't see the, the person. Oh, okay. Okay, here it is. Mm -hmm. So this is our agenda. And remember that the topic for today is how to use there is and there are plus the quantifiers. Quantifiers. So we are going to ask this question. What is there in your workplace? What is there in your workplace? What is there in your house? What is there in your city? Okay, the things that exist in a place, but counting or expressing the amounts, considering amounts, okay? So th those are quantifiers. Our agenda, well, our feedback was about the things or the places we can find in the city. Yeah, but we were talking only about public places, right? Now we are going to talk about objects or a specific things, specific places. Bien. Solo manera de recordar un poquito, ¿verdad? Nos vamos a salir un poquito y vamos a recordar esto. Ya lo vimos, lo que vamos a ver ahorita es un match. Es un ejercicio bien sencillo. Es un match. Okay, it's a match. You have to match the question with the answer. Okay, question with answer. So, you may come to the board, please. Come into the board. And you do the match. We have to read. Where do you watch TV? Where do you watch TV? Where do you watch TV? TV is the bedroom. Okay, our TV mm -hmm. is in the bedroom. So everybody matching, right? Matching. Yeah, matching. We need match. Yes, good. Mm -hmm. Right. Where is your office? My office is in front of the big window of the third floor near the storage room. Very good. Ok, ya hicimos dos. Ahora, yo me voy a poner en silencio. I will mute myself and you are going to do this exercise but commenting everybody has to comment give a comment here okay todos comentando y ayudándose you may start now where do you live sería i soy a pango city where do you store the milk I put the meal in the fridge, fridge, fridge. Is correct the pronunciation, teacher? Fridge. Zero. Zero se dice, pero cómo se pone. Por cierto, ya puedo. Fridge. The next. Where do you put your case? Number five. Letter B. I, I put my, my case on a key hanger behind the front door. Hanger behind the, the front door. Yes, it is. Where is Janetia's 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 wallet? Janetia's wallet. Yes, in, I think she went D is the next uh, no. Letter no. no, 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 no. I A. I think she put in the it in her in. handbag. Back door. Handbag. Letter E. No, is A. A. I think she put in the her handbag. Where do you the stuff find your boss in the morning? It's letter G. The bus in the warehouse burning you till 11 a.m. 
What is the kitchen? It's next to the living room. Living or living room? Letter D. Letter D. Which street is your workplace on? This letter C. C. I want a world commercial building on Shield Shield to Pan Street. <laughs> Shield to Pan Street. Where are the breakfast? I, I have a I breakfast have every, every day. day. Oh. Every day. Oh. At home. Ready? Teacher, you can check the exercise. Yes, let's do it together. Okay, let's do it together. Where do you watch TV? Or TV in the bedroom. Our TV is yes. in, in the bedroom. The bedroom. Our TV is in the bedroom. Okay, where is your office? My office is in front of the big window of the third floor, near the storage room. Exactly. My office is in front of the big window on the third floor, near the storage room. Okay, vamos a ver, quiero escucharlos a todos. My office is in front of the big window. My office is in front of the big window. On the third floor. On the third floor. Near the storage room. Near the storage room. Okay, very specific, right? Very specific. Where do you live? Letter E. Mm -hmm. Soyapango City. Yes, I live in Soyapango City. Very good. Number four. Where do you store the milk? I put the milk in the fridge. Okay. I put the milk in the fridge. Ajá, como que fuera una CH, ¿verdad? Sí, como cuando llamamos a alguien, igual. The fridge. I put the milk in the fridge. Everybody? I put the milk in the fridge. I put the milk in the fridge. Fridge, no in the bridge, because in the bridge is in the puente. Yeah. Uh -huh. Hacemos fridge. Mm -hmm. Okay, where do you put your keys? I put my keys on a K100. Okay, I put my keys on a key hanger. Hanger. Mm -hmm. hanger. hanger, en un gancho pues, en, un, en esos llaveros key hanger es el llavero donde usted, que usted tiene cerca de su puerta ¿ya? key hanger behind the front door ok, digámoslo en velocidad normal I put my keys on a key hanger behind the front door Great. Where is Yanetia's wallet? I think she put it in her bag. In her bag. In her bag. In her bag. I think... She put it in her handbag. Handbag. Ajá. Vaya, ahora en velocidad normal se oiría así. I think she put it... Okay. I think she put it in her handbag. I think she put it in her handbag. Yeah. Put it in her handbag. I think she put it in her handbag. Yes. Mm -hmm. Then, where do the staff find their boss in the morning? Letter G. J. 
Okay. The, the boss, boss is in the warehouse every morning during 11 a.m. Okay. The boss is in the warehouse every morning until 11 o'clock a.m. Okay, everybody. The bus is in the warehouse every morning until 11 o'clock a.m. A ver, ¿ustedes solitos? The bus goes in the morning until 11 o'clock a.m. Very good. Mm -hmm. Where is the kitchen? It's next to the living room? Right. Yes. Right. It's next to the living room. It's next to the living room. It's next to the living room. Yes. It's next to the living room. Vamos a ver entonces number nine. Which street is your workplace on? I work, I work in, in a commercial in building, security funds. Yes, I work in a commercial building on Chiltipan Street. Vamos todos. I work, I work in, in a commercial work. building on Chiltipan Street. On Chiltipan Street. Where do you have breakfast? I have breakfast every day. Very good. Every day could be at the end too. We could say, I have breakfast at home every day. Y sonaría bien. Ok, dándole el lugar correcto. Aquí estamos haciendo énfasis en el every day. Ok, aquí si lo ponemos al final, el every day, estamos haciendo énfasis en el lugar, at home. Ok, bien. Is there any question so far about these questions? Okay, just notice please that these questions are about places, about locations, okay? These questions using the word where, okay, where are requesting places information, okay? Places information. But there is one that it is not with where, look. Which? Ah, but it's a street. So, street is a place. So, then, it's a place question. Okay? There we go. So, these are information questions about places. Mm -hmm. And if you see, we use at with this word, home. Esa es una expresión establecida, ¿sí? Ayer les pasaba eh, que se quedó... Fernando Enrique con, eh, en, en la sesión uno a uno y estábamos viendo estas eh, expresiones. These are some expressions to expand the vocabulary when we are going to use in, when we are going to use at, when we are going to use on. Okay, uh, let me just to get to the other one. This one. These are other other expressions and these are standard expressions así se dice okay no vamos a estar pensando y por qué no se dice on or, or in the home ¿verdad? no no vamos a pensar eso simplemente decimos en english para decir en la casa decimos at home okay at home podríamos decir in the house but not in the home vamos a decir in the house at home, ok, diferente pero estamos diciendo prácticamente el mismo lugar, verdad, so at home, at work at school at university at college vamos todos, por favor no me dejen solita at home at home, at work at, work, work, at, work, school, at school at university At, at college, college, at the top, at the top, at the bottom, at the bottom, at the bottom, at the side, at the reception, at reception. Okay. Mm -hmm. In, in a car. 
Este se dice helicopter. In a helicopter. In a helicopter. In a boat. In a boat. In a lift. In a boat. In a lift. Ok, aquí hagamos la diferencia. Lift es para el inglés británico. Ok, the British English say lift. Pero en el inglés americano decimos elevator. Ok, elevator. In a elevator or in a lift. Mm -hmm. El elevador, el el ascensor. Elevator. In a lift, in an elevator. Mm -hmm. Ahí cambiaría esta A cuando decimos elevator, porque vamos a cambiarlo a an, mm -hmm. ¿verdad? In a lift, mm -hmm. in an elevator. elevator. Mm -hmm. In an elevator. Yes. Nosotros, que estamos de este lado del continente o del mundo, vamos a decir in an elevator. Ok, easy. In an elevator. American English, in an elevator. In the newspaper. In the newspaper. In the sky. In the sky. You see something in the sky. Mm -hmm. In a row. In a row. In a row. In a row es en fila, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. O uno seguido tras de otro. In a row. Mm -hmm. In Oxford Street. In Oxford, in Oxford Street. Street. Aquí estamos viendo una cosa. Fíjense que aquí dice street, ¿verdad? Para street, ¿qué dijimos que decimos? On, ¿verdad? Pero en este caso, fíjense que, yes, it's a place, a known place called Oxford Street. Even though it is a street, we don't call it on, or we don't say on, we say in, all right? In, because uh, it's like a part of it, right? A part of the Oxford Street. For example, the stores, the shopping centers you will find there, or anything you find in Oxford Street, then you're gonna say in Oxford Street, not on Oxford Street. Okay, it, but if you say on Oxford Street, you are not wrong, okay? It's not wrong. Mm -hmm. I have a question, but I understand that, that it's explained then in and on. For example, it is the, um, the uh, los centros comerciales. The right? shopping malls. Shopping mall. For example, in in galerias, shopping mall is correct. Right? Yes, it is correct. Mm -hmm. It is in the shopping mall. It is on the shopping mall. Is no, no. It is in the in the shopping in mall. The Yes, in. Uh -huh. Podríamos decir también at cuando se refiere a que usted está apuntando a ese lugar. At the shop. Estamos decidiendo que ahí nos vamos a reunir, pero no estamos ahí. Ok, then we say at the shopping mall. Yeah. Ok. Exactly. Bien, on, on a bus. When you, on tell me, bus. tell me, Alma. On a train. On a bus. Yes, on a bus, on a bus, on a train, mm -hmm. on a plane, on a ship, on a bicycle, or on a motorbike. Mm -hmm. On a bike, on a on a motorbike, because you are riding, riding on. Yeah, you don't ride in, or you don't ride because it. It doesn't have any roof on it, right? So, yeah, it's on. Está montado, yeah? On, sobre. On a horse, the same as the motorbike, bike, on right? Horse. On a horse. On, on an horse. elephant. On, on an elephant. elephant. Mm -hmm. For example, Indian people, I mean, Hindi people, they sit on elephants, right? To uh, As a manner of transportation, yeah? Transportation, they use elephants. We use horses, we use cars, we use motorbikes and bikes and buses, etc. But they use elephants. Okay, on the radio, on the, the radio. radio, on television, on television, on television, on television yes, F. on the left, on the left, on the, left. On the right. Yes. On the, right. on the right. On the way. On the way. For example, when you order a pizza, right? You order a pizza and you say, well, uh, 
for example, the, uh, the delivery guy calls you and tells you, well, I'm kind of delayed, but I am on the way, right? I am on the way, and that means que va de camino, right? On the way. Okay, people. Is, uh -huh. On the way is que va de camino. Exactly. Y para decir que estoy caminando es... I'm on the way too. I'm on the way. Yeah, because you are right there. Or if you're walking on the way, then you're walking on the way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, people. So according to this, these are expressions and they're, these are standard expressions. Everybody says the same way these expressions. And if you use a different preposition, maybe you will uh, seem mistaken. So we've got to uh, be careful with this and we have to memorize just a little bit. We're going to memorize them with practice, okay, with practice. And the only thing to practice is obviously uh, doing some exercises, okay, doing some exercises. Let's complete these sentences, okay, let's complete these sentences. Are you at home now? Mm -hmm. Are you in the office? No. In the office. Mm -hmm. Vaya, mm -hmm. hagamos este ejercicio de la misma manera que hicimos el anterior. I will mute myself. And ¿quién está de computadora que pueda ir poniendo ahí las, las expresiones, las prepositions? A ver. Solo uno porque se traba el Zoom, I'm sorry. <risa> Ustedes todos al mismo tiempo, yo me aflijo porque van a decir, ay, no, no me tome en cuenta la teacher, van a decir. <risa> ok, Verónica, ¿está bien usted? ¿Usted lo quiere poner? Ok. Vaya, entonces, everybody commenting, please, participating, remember. Ok, there we go. Okay. are you at home now? I think it is correctly. Teller one. Okay. Google okay. Google okay. Google one. 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 Google Today, in, in the number, do you study in, in the university or on the university? At the university. At the university. Okay. Okay. The number three is at the university, okay? At the university. Do you study number four? Do you work at the blue building? I think yeah. it's correct. Mm -hmm. Can you do a sign your head? Yes, correctly. <laughs> the blue building. I don't know. Mm. What do you think? Oh, I think it is in this building. But are you specific? The blue. Okay. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Number five. She lives. Right. Is in a specific San Rafael Cedros. She lives. Um, at San Rafael Cedros. I don't know. But the next. The factory is at the city? No, it's on the city. I think. 
in the city. Okay, in the city. In the city. Uh, how do you say doctor in Spanish? Is pharmacia? <laughs> the bookstore Star. is it's on on one street avenue. On. On. Vea. Creo que me quedó un poco. Movida. Ahí está. On First Avenue. Letter A. Put the beverage in the fridge. La otra vez, porque está comiendo sobre algo. Yes, please. I don't understand, Alma. ¿Qué, qué significa de fridge? No sé cómo es. Sure, can you help me, please? How do you say fridge in Spanish? Well, I won't say it in Spanish. I will say it in English, but it, it is the refrigerator. Ah, okay, that's the fridge, yes. Ah, yeah, but the fridge is the small name. I remember that it's refrigerator. Yeah, fridge is short okay. for refrigerator. Okay, teacher. Thanks. It's on or on. Is on? Okay, on the bridge. No, 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 no. It is on. It's it's in. Okay, it's in the bridge. Teacher, you can sing the. <laughs> On. On. No, it is. Don't put it in the food. In the food. In the food. In the fridge. In the fridge. Okay. Number nine. Don't put the food up the bowl. Or in. In the bowl. Candies. Ah, candies is, is dulces, dulces. Dulces. In the, in the, in the. En un, re, en un recipiente de pop. In también. In. Sí, dentro de. In the tennis. I finish cheese not at home tonight. At home. At home tonight. At home. Okay. At home. Okay, great job. We are going to see one by one. Okay, we're going to see one by one. Are you at home now? Guys, are you at home now? Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Number two, are you in the office today? That's a good one. We could say at the office. Okay, at the office. Mm -hmm. No está malo tampoco decir in the office si hablamos del lugar por dentro. O sea, estamos como el enclosed or enclosured place. Pero si hablamos apuntando, yo hablo por teléfono, por ejemplo, yo no estoy ahí, ¿verdad? Yo le puedo preguntar a usted, are you at the office today? Okay, that's the correct way to say at the office. Yeah, as I said. It's not incorrect in the office when you refer to the office as the enclosed or enclosure place, okay? Do you study at the university? Okay, yeah, at the university is okay. Do you work in the blue building? Correct, correct. She lives, oh, okay. Okay. Yes, in because it's a city. 
When we refer a place or a city, we say in because mm -hmm. it's enclosure place. ¿Por qué es enclosure San Rafael Cedro si, si es un lugar abierto? No, because it has limits. Se llama San Rafael Cedro hasta cierto lugar, ¿verdad? That's why it is enclosed, enclosure place. Okay. The factory is in the city, correct. The drugstore, drugstore is in American English. Pharmacy is in British English. Drugstore, American. Pharmacy, uh, British. The drugstore is on the First Avenue, yes. But the beverages, uh -huh. hey, what happened? In the so yes, in the fridge. <laughs> yes, in the fridge because you need them cool, right? You need them cool. Las necesita servir frías, ¿verdad? Entonces tiene que ponerlas adentro. Si las pone on, no se le van a helar. Van a quedar ahí arriba, ¿ok? <laughs> exactly. Sure. On the fridge. Please, uh -huh. please you, you can pronounce refrigerator. What is this? That's correct. Refrigerator. Re refrigerator. Refrigerator. Okay. Thanks, teacher. Okay. Don't put the candies in that bowl. Okay. Don't put the candies in that bowl because it's a thing. So you put the things in inside, right? She's not at home tonight. Great. Okay. There we are. Is there any questions so far about this exercise? Is there any question about this exercise? So far, so good? So far. So far. All right. Then let's talk about the structure. This structure is really important. We use it for everything and for anything. Okay. So we need to learn these words. A, N. And. and we're going to say there is. Junto, estas dos palabras significa hay. Okay. Ay, ay. Esto significa hay, H-A-Y en Spanish, hay, okay? De haber, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Yeah, there is, es como que en español digamos hay. But we have two ways to say hay, okay? Hay de haber, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. There is, is for, here we've got them, singular nouns, okay? Singular nouns. There is a computer on my desk. There is a computer on my desk. Okay. There is a security guard at the entrance. Okay. There is I un guardia de seguridad en la entrada, ¿verdad? There is a security guard, I'm sorry, guard at the entrance. There is a flower in the vase. One flower in the vase. Okay. There is an eraser in the pencil case. There is an apple in the fridge. Mm -hmm. There is an example at the bottom of the page. Okay. At the bottom of the page, it's... Yeah, right below everything, right? Below everything. Remember at the bottom of the page, but we are talking about example, and it's only one. So we say an example at the bottom of the page. These are singular nouns. They refer only one thing. Okay, They refer only one thing. So computer, security guard, flower. This three goes with a. Ah, a computer, a security guard, a flower. Ok. Si se fijan, estos comienzan con una consonant. Ok. The sound of these initials is cons it's a consonant sound. Mm -hmm. Now, these are... Vowel sounds. Vowel sounds. Eraser. Apple. Example. We use an. An. Mm -hmm. Okay. But there is another thing with a and an. 
They refer, refer only to one thing. Pero, ¿qué pasa con aquellas palabras como, por ejemplo, que tenemos? ¿Cuál le ponemos? ¿A o an? An. A ver. ¿Así? No. Ok, viene así la situación. Vamos a explicar. Empieza con una vocal. La vocal es U, ¿verdad? Pero el sonido de esta U no es como una vocal. Si se fijan, es como que fuera una Y, ¿verdad? ¿Sí? Como que fuera una J. University, como June, July, ¿verdad? University. So, we will say that we cannot use an because it starts with a consonantic or with a consonant sound, ¿ok? Consonant sound. Entonces, aunque ahí empieza con una vocal, el sonido no es vocálico, es consonántico, ¿verdad? Entonces, sería a university, a university. Podría ser, por ejemplo, con universe también, que empieza con la misma inicial esa, ¿verdad? O universal, oh, right? Okay. Universal. Uh -huh. A universal. Okay, a universal. All right, so this is a special case, or is the exception, right? It's the exception. So we have to notice that. A and an, one. A computer, a security guard, a flower, an eraser, an apple, an example, a university, a universal, okay? Singular nouns, one thing only. But there is something else. There are other kind of nouns that we cannot count. We cannot count. For example, in this one, we can count how many computers there are. We can count one computer, two computers, three computers right we can make them plural because we can count them we can count flowers one flower two flowers a dozen of flowers okay one eraser two erasers an apple two apples a mm, hundred apples all right so these are countable nouns we can count them by number But there are other there are other nouns that we cannot count. These are uncountable nouns. No podemos decir en inglés eh, una leche, dos leches, tres leches. Okay. Nosotros en inglés milk es incontable. Entonces no puedo decir a uh, milk or mm, nothing else. I cannot say that. I need a quantifier. I need a quantifier. Just allow me to show you. Okay, voy a poner acá un cuadro de este de arriba del A en AN. Teacher, I, I, huh? I remember that the rule uh -huh. in this, in español, para que también los compañeros escuchen y usted les explique. Uh -huh. Recuerdo que, por ejemplo, lo que usted menciona de la leche, no, no, no es contable, pues no van no a ser tantas leches, ¿verdad? pero uh -huh. sí cuando se habla sobre, por ejemplo, las unidades, por ejemplo, tantos litros de leche, ahí sí puede ser contable. Exactly, but we are not we are not counting the milk. We are counting the liters, right, or the pins. We are not counting the milk exactly, but that's correct. Uh huh. So we have some or any. Okay, some or any. Some is for affirmative sentences. When I can, uh, when I say there is some milk, for example, there is some milk. Pero si no hay leche. Ok, voy a decir, there isn't, voy a ponerlo aquí abajo, porque puede ser negativo y puede ser afirmativo, ¿verdad? Pero con there isn't, yo voy a usar any, ok, any milk. Puede ser que haya un poquito, ¿verdad? O puede ser que no haya nada de leche, ¿sí? A ver, vamos a poner acá some y voy a quitar ese cuadro. 
So there is some milk. There isn't any milk. ¿Ok? Vamos a ver. Si hay pan, ¿cómo lo digo? Algo de pan. There is some bread. There is some bread. ¿Y si no hay? There is any bread. Any bread. bread. Exactly. Uh -huh. También podemos utilizar la otra palabra que es mágicamente expresiva en decir que no hay nada, ¿vea? Entonces vamos a decir there, pero siempre con afirmativo. Ah, lo voy a poner aquí arriba. There is no. Ok. Ahí sí que definitivamente no hay nada, ¿vea? There is no milk. Ok. There is no milk. Ok. Y no se puede usar la palabra no. Yes, you can use that too. You can use that. Ajá. Uh -huh. Pero con nothing tendríamos que ponerle of. Eh, tendría que ser algo así. Voy a poner no, un Ajá, exactly. Uh -huh. For example, I could say there is nothing of milk. En español nosotros tendemos a decir no hay nada, ¿verdad? Pero en inglés no podemos decir dos veces no. Nada es negativo y no es negativo. Entonces tengo que hacerlo en afirmativo. Miren, there is nothing. No puedo decir there isn't nothing, ¿ok? There is nothing. Pero no, no lo vamos a utilizar ahorita. Esa va a ser una clase aparte cuando ya estén más adelante porque hay otros aspectos que aprender también, ¿ok? Bien, ahorita veamos el some como algunos o en plural, ¿verdad? Más de uno. Yeah, más de uno. Vemos no, que no existe nada absolutamente. Y vemos any para decir que no hay ni siquiera algo. O sea, ni siquiera un poco, ¿verdad? Any. También significa nada. Pero any en su forma original significa cualquiera. ¿Ok? No significa... Ya unido aquí en there isn't any, es que estamos diciendo que no hay nada. ¿Ok? Bye. O no hay algunos también. Entonces, veamos. There is some water. Excuse me. But I use any in the, in the cualquier is anything or is any? What yes, you can it? use any. Mm -hmm. Is there any student in the classroom right now? Oh, okay. yeah. Is there any? So I'm saying que si hay alguno o... Mm. Yeah. Yeah. O oh, anyone, pero ya ese ya es unido, ya es compuesto, es otra clase. Y la van a ver más adelante, don't worry. <laughs> okay, teacher, sorry. Uh -huh. okay, no problem, it's okay. There isn't any coffee in the coffee maker, right? There isn't any coffee in the saucepan, yeah? In a cup, yes, in the cup. There isn't any pollution, it's not contaminated, right? There is some pollution. Pero, ¿y qué tal cuando queremos decir que hay bastantes, que hay muchos. So much. Ajá. So much. There is a lot. Exactly. Then we use different quantifiers, right? Así. Yeah. Oh, here we are going to use this one. And then we say, for example, there is a lot of, y decimos que, ¿verdad? En este caso podemos decir, there is a lot of milk. Yeah. There is a lot of milk. There is a lot of bread. There is a lot of juice. There is a lot of uh, anything, right? Of coffee. A lot of pollution. Pero también podemos usar otros quantifiers como much. Okay. There is much. Okay. There is much water. Hay mucha agua. Okay. Y si decimos too much, for example, demasiada agua. Entonces, there is much water, there is much bread, there is much coffee. Hay mucho, mucho. More than what we need. Okay, that's much. Ahora veamos entonces estas que tenemos acá. Y transformémoslas a plural. ¿Cómo transformaríamos esto a plural? A ver. Uh, the R in... Ah, cambiamos el verbo to be 
for the correct form of the plural verb to be. Okay, then I will I will take this like computers. Mm -hmm. And we say there are. Y quitamos el cuantificador de uno, ¿verdad? There are computers, computers. on my computers. desk. Uh -huh. Computers. Ahora, imagínense que le llegaron a dejar los de soporte técnico como 10 computadoras ahí por accidente y que estaban trabajando y no se las quitaron. ¿Cómo se enojaría usted? Poquito, ¿verdad? Poquito. Y <ríe> diría como, there are... Ajá, aquí necesitamos otras, otros cuantificadores, ¿verdad? Pero hay uno que ya vimos ahorita, a lot of, ¿ok? Hay un montón, ¿verdad? There are a lot of computers in my desk. Ajá, bien. Pero ahorita podemos dejarlo también así. There are computers on my desk. Ok, number two. There is a security war, uh, this guard at the entrance. There is a security guard at the entrance. Si no hay solo uno, sino que hay tres. There are, they, there are three security guards at the okay. entrance. El plural se lo vamos a poner a guards. Mm -hmm. Guards. Así, guards. Guards. Uh, guards. Mm -hmm. There are three security guards at the entrance. Okay. Hagamos plural. There is a flower in the base. Teacher, in this case, the, the, sten the sentence number two, the at the S at words, it is the, 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 I don't know how to say it in English, but como es security guards, o sea, los guardias. Ajá, exactly. No sé, por ejemplo, Guardia de seguridad puede ser, no sé, otra cosa, pero siempre la, la parte del, del sujeto. En este caso, sí, ¿verdad? Exactly. But because this is kind of a complex subject because it has an adjective. In this case, it's security. Okay. It's the adjective, the qualifier. Okay. The qualifier. The, uh, then, let's think about the flower. Uh-huh. There, uh, there are flowers. flowers. There are flowers in the base. Yes. Flowers. There are flowers in the vase. Okay, we transformed these sentences into plural. Let's look at the plural things because in the plural we use some other quantifiers. Quantifiers. Look, for plural nouns we can use some, many, and a lot of because these are countable nouns countable nouns i can say one car two cars some cars many cars a lot of cars okay so we could say there are some cars there are many cars there are a lot of cars entonces digamos que some es como una cantidad algunas okay Many es como muchos. A lot of es más que muchos. Okay? Demasiado. Yeah. Maybe not that because demasiados serían too many. Okay? Too, too many. many. Mm -hmm. Ahí sí serían okay. demasiados. O sea, más de la cuenta, más de lo que se necesita. Okay? okay? O de lo que es posible. Plural nouns. So what are the quantifiers for the plural countable nouns? Some, many, a lot of. Okay. Some people, many people, a lot of people, some computers, many computers, a lot of computers. Mm -hmm. But when we talk about these objects in plural, we will use there are. There are cars, there are some cars. Okay. Now we've got some other. That yeah, we want to see. Is there aren't. Oh, yes. I'm sorry. Yes. Mm -hmm. There aren't. Y también podemos usar any. Así como usábamos allá. Solo déjenme llegar nuevamente. There are. Y para el negativo. Pero no quería confundirlos ahí. Vamos a ponerlos acá. Mm -hmm. Any.
Y vamos a contractar acá, there aren't. There aren't any cars, ¿ok? There aren't any cars. Uh -huh. Para negativos vamos a usar any. Para preguntas vamos a usar any. Por ejemplo, si yo les pregunto, are there any cars in the, on the street? Ok, I would say, are there any cars on the street? Mm, there aren't any cars yet. It's too early, right? There is no traffic. So, we could say any. We are dreaming, right? This is a utopic, utopic world. <laughs> there aren't, well, we are not going to say many. There aren't many. Mm, okay. There aren't a lot of, okay, in negatives, we can use them too. But for negatives, we will say any, okay? Any. También podemos usar no, okay? There are no people. Ahí ya sería como afirmativo, okay? There are no people. No hay gente vos. There are no people. There are no people in on the streets, for example, right? No. Okay, let's go to the uh, uh, manuals. In the manuals, you've got a list of things as a manner of examples. As a manner of examples. So let's look at this. How to use there is and there are plus the quantifiers. Please read this box, Jacqueline. The singulars. <laughs> Um, there, there is, there are, um, eh, es la primera, ¿verdad? Exactly, esta es de aquí, mire, esta es tres. Uh -huh. solo, la voy a solo la voy a leer así. Yes, only reading. Uh -huh. There is an ATM across the street. There is a recruitment center center on the corner of Rosenberg Street and First Avenue. There is there's no clothing factory around the corner. Thank you. Stephanie, please read the plural ones. There are a lot of company down the street. There are some super, supermarkets on the right of the side of the street. There are no hospitals on the various streets. Very good. Now let's complete this exercise. Complete the exercise with the race or there are an quantifier. For example, marketing presentation across the street in the morning. What will we uh, put in this blank? There, there is. Esto está en plural o está en singular? Singular. Singular, singular there yes. There is. There is. There is, and what is the quantifier? A meaning. One percentage. A, a meaning. Yes, there is a meaning. Yeah, there is a, uh, no, I'm sorry, marketing, marketing presentation. presentation. Okay, number two. There, there are, are, there are, Business workshop. There are some business workshop. Okay. There are some. There are some. Okay. Number three. There is no recruitment centers around my there business. No. There are. There are no. Yes, because it's plural, right? Sanders. Mm -hmm. there, are there, yes. Well, we could say there are no because look at here. It says there are no. Porque no podemos hacer doble negativo, ¿verdad? There aren't no. No podemos decir así. 
Tenemos que decir afirmativo del there are y luego el no. Ok, there are no recruitment centers around my building. Number four. There is, there is no, there is no store on the corner there is no store mm -hmm. okay number five there are mm -hmm. banks behind there the are, factory there are, work. there are banks behind yes there there are banks podríamos ponerle some podríamos ponerle a lot ¿verdad? a lot of Behind the factory at work. Uh -huh. Number six. Um, there is. 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 So, alguien preguntó quizás, where is the Aranza building? So, well, there is an Aranza building right there, right? So, yeah. Okay, people, is there any questions so far? Is there any question? No. No questions? Okay, people, I will call, I'm sorry? Yo aprendí que el son se usaba también para cosas incontables, como el azúcar. Yes. Like the Entonces, sugar. Uh, 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 y, 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 y before you said in both uh, sentence, there are some supermarkets or there are some sugar. No, no, ahí tendría que ser there is some, porque no puede contarla, entonces no la puede hacer plural. Mira, sino que como es incontable, tiene que ir con some, pero con there is. Ok. Ok. Uh -huh. <coughs> Please, people, get ready. I'm going to call the roll. So, when you hear your name, please say present. Alma y Amilet Hernández de Vázquez. Present. Okay. Carlos Ed Edgardo Vázquez Espino. Present teacher. All right. Deborah Yamilet Campos Cortez. Present teacher. Okay. Carlos Francisco Alfaro de Leon. Fernando Enrique Martinez Macín. Fernando Noel Mauricio Cíntigo. Present teacher. Gabriela Lisset Hernández Cruz. Present teacher. Jacqueline Lisset Martínez de Vázquez. Present teacher. Okay, I hear like present teacher. Oh, you're tired. Marcos Alejandro Coreas Reales. María Isabel Rivas Guevara. Present teacher. Okay, no problem. Saúl Álvarez Pacheco, you are like very tired, guys. <laughs> Say, come on. No, you, 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 you are. Sure. Okay, you sure. okay Saúl, so, good. That's the attitude. Stephanie Magalia Maya Reyes. Present teacher. Yes. Verónica Beatriz Celso de Saldaña. Present teacher. All right. Entonces, el día de hoy, la sesión uno a uno sería para Verónica Beatriz. Uh, do you want to stay with me today, yes. Veronica? Yes, teacher. Okay, there we go, guys. So, see you tomorrow. Do your homework, okay? Bye-bye. Have a very good night. Good night. Good night. See you, good night. See you tomorrow. Okay, here we are, Veronica. How are you tonight? How do you feel? Um, very tired, teacher. Yesterday tired. I sleep. Sorry. Oh, you got sleep. Oh, all right, all right. Um, is there anything I can help you with? 
Do you have any question, any comment, opinion? Yes, I, I confuse the use the pronouns uh, at, in, and on. I, I confuse with the. Okay, the prepositions. Yes. All right, the prepositions. Actually, there is no an exact rule. There is a clue how to use them. Uh, the clue is very short okay and there is like a slight difference one uh, i'm sorry a slight difference between each one because in the spanish all of them means in right it's only one meaning this is why the concept is not created in our minds but the clue is for example when you use at uh when you i'm sorry i'm sorry For some reason, doesn't give me the. Oh, okay. <laughs> because the, with the prepositions, maybe the concepts are the ones that maybe we don't uh, totally understand. But the clue is that you have to mm, uh, use the complete expression. Okay, la, la clave acá está usar la expresión completa. Okay, acostumbrarnos a que a qué cosas van con in, qué cosas van con on y qué cosas van con at. Y la clave más digamos, de uso o de más ayuda sería pensar que at lo usamos para señalar un lugar, ¿ok? Or to point a place, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. to point a place, or it's a point, like a meeting point, or maybe it's just a point over there, right? It exists, but we are not there, maybe, sometimes, right? So I could mm -hmm. say I am at the corner, Yes, but usually I say I'm on the corner, right? Because I am right there. But if I tell you just turn left at the corner, right? Because I'm not there. So like pointing the thing. It's only a clue because not always it's the same thing. But we will say at the corner, at the bus stop, because it's a place where you meet the bus, right? Usted ahí mm -hmm. encuentra el bus y se sube, right? So at the bus stop, at the door at the top of the page, at the end of the road, at the entrance, yeah, it's a place, uh, and you point the place, uh, and, and it's a point in a big place. It's a part of a place, so you point it. Um, at the crossroads, at the crossroads is, uh, when there is, for example, an avenue and a street, right? Together, so like in a mm -hmm. cross, cruz calle, right? At the front desk, at the front desk. In is for enclosed space, enclosed space. It means it has limits. It has okay. limits. Mm -hmm. Maybe the limits are far away, but they have limits. For example, the countries, they have borders, they have limits. So we say in the name of the, um, let's say the country, for example, in El Salvador, in France, in Guatemala, etc. Uh, the cities, we say in San Salvador, we say in London, say in New York. Uh, the parts of the house are places in a big place. So we say in the garden, it has limits, even it is open, but it has limits. Uh, in a box, put things in, right? Inside. Uh, okay. Let's say in my pocket, money in my pocket, I put my, my money in inside my pocket. In my wallet, all right? In my wallet, in a building, yeah, because there is an entrance, so you access to the building. So it's in a building. Uh, in a car, when you uh, go
go in a car and you tell your children, for example, or your husband, you call him and tell him, get in the car. But for example, with the bus, it's not like that because in, uh, with the bus, we say, allow me to get there. For example, get on the bus, yeah? Because this is a public transportation. Your car is private so and it's little right it's little so you say in a car but you say on a bus yeah that's kind of the difference of he in here um let's say in a car now on is like on a surface on a superficie on the wall on the ceiling on the door okay on the door is completely different on the door when you stick for example a sign on the door yeah it's a surface see muy diferente a at the door okay at the door mm -mm. on the door si usted le pega un rótulo a la puerta is on the door on the cover yeah on the cover como en la cubierta right it's a surface on the floor another surface right on the carpet on the menu, on a page, on your notebook, on the platform, yeah? So we use on with surfaces. It depends on the position. Yes, of course. The, that's location more than okay. position. Yeah, because position could be kind of, uh, it has a, a small difference, but a, a location is where it is, right? where okay. it is for example in locations we'll say like in on under right by we use different right by we use between yeah those are locations uh the place where the thing or the object or the person is okay this is why we use at in and on yeah, and the recommendation is just as the prepositions of time, because with the pre prepositions of time, we have to learn and memorize the words that go with each one. Yeah, so we need to do the same here. Okay, Veronica? Okay, ready, teacher. All right. Any other question? Only, teacher. Only that one? Okay. Thanks. Okay, then. If there is no more questions, I think we're finished, right? Yes. Okay, then. Have a very good night and take a very good rest. Thanks, teacher. See you tomorrow. <laughs> See you tomorrow. Bye. See you, teacher. Bye.